Hello friends, this video statistics part 24 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched statistics part 1 to part 23. We are told that mean of 5 observation is 4.4. That is n is equal to 5. That is the first thing. And the mean is 4.4. That is mean is 4.4. And the variance is 8.24. That is variance is 8.24. Correct. If three of this observation are one, two, six, and find the other observations, two observations you have to find. Let the two observations be x, y. Then the total set will be one, two, six, x, and y. And for this set, n is equal to five, mean is equal to four point four, and variance is variance is eight point two. So we can say that let's find the mean. Mean is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 6 plus x plus y by 5 and this value is nothing but 4.4 or we can say that x plus y is nothing but 4.4 into 5 4.4 into 5 5 is 20 2 5 is 20 22 9 because 6 plus 2 8 plus 1 9 and that is 30 so we have got our first equation x plus y is equal to 30. Now the second equation says the variance is equal to 8.24. So variance we know is nothing but 1 by n sigma xi minus mean square. Correct? So we are told that or we can say that sigma xi minus mean square is nothing but n into variance n is equal to nothing but 5 and variance is 8.24 8.24 and that comes out to be 41 point that is my second equation correct now let's expand this we will put all the values xi is equal to 1 so this becomes 1 minus mean is nothing but 4.4 correct 1 minus 4.4 square plus second value is 2 2 minus 4.4 square third value is 6 6 minus 4.4 square plus x minus 4.4 square plus y minus 4.4 square is equal to 41 point this equation we have if you solve this equation, what you will get? This turns out to be 1 minus 4.4 that is 3 point minus 3.4 square plus 2 minus 4.4 is minus 2.4 square plus 6 minus 4.4 is nothing but 1.6 square plus x minus 4.4 square is x square plus 4.4 square minus 2 into 2 into 4.4 into x plus y square plus 4.4 square minus 2 into 4 2 into 4.4 into y is equal to 41 point or minus 3.4 square is equal to 11.56 plus 2.4 square is nothing but 5.76 plus 1.6 square is equal to 2.56 plus x square plus 4.4 square is nothing but 19.36 minus 8.8x plus y square plus again 4.4 square is nothing but 19.36 minus 8.85 is equal to 41 point or what we get is x square plus y square minus 8.8 .8 into x plus y right plus you add everything this side this is nothing but 28.60 is equal to 41 point x plus y we know is nothing but 13 here this equation x plus y is 13 so we will put this as 13 so what we get here is 
x square plus y square is nothing but 41.2 plus 8.8 into 13 minus 58.6. If you solve this, this comes out to be, this is 8.8 8 into 13 is nothing but uh, 114.4. So if you just add this, this and this becomes, this becomes nothing but 155.6 minus 58.6 and this becomes actually 97. This is my third. Till now what we have got? We have got x plus y is equal to 30 and x square plus y square is equal to 97. Let's square this equation. So we square this becomes x square plus y square plus 2x square because x plus y square is equal to x square plus y square plus 2x square is equal to 30 is square is 169. x square plus y square I can mention 97 or we can say 2xy is equal to 169 minus 97 and this comes out to be 36. No, this comes out to be 72 actually. 9 minus 7 is 2, 60 minus 7 is 7. Or we can say that xy is nothing but 36. So we have another equation. So we have a loop x y. Now we have a loop x square plus y square and we have a loop x y. So we can say that x square plus y square minus 2 x y. This is nothing but 97 minus 2 x y is 72 today. We saw minus 72. That is nothing but 25. So we can say that x minus y whole square because this whole thing is x minus y square is equal to 25. Or thus, if we can say that x minus y is nothing but plus minus 5, either 5 or minus 5. So we have two equations. One is x minus y is equal to 5 and here x plus or x minus y is equal to minus 5. Another equation we have x plus y is equal to 30 we already have. So we will say x plus y is equal to 30. That is valid in both the case. We we'll solve this. We will get, we will add this to, we will get 2x is equal to 3t or we will say x is equal to 9 and since x is equal to 9, we will get y is equal to nothing but x minus 5 that is y is equal to, y is equal to x minus 5 so uh, 9 minus 5 is equal to, 9 minus 5 is equal to 4. In this case, again we will add this, this becomes 2x is equal to uh, this is 13 actually. 13 minus 5 that is 8. So x is equal to 4. Here what will get y? y is nothing but x plus 5 that is 4 plus 5 9. So x y is either 4 9 or 9 4 is one of the same thing. That means we can tell that the other two terms are 4 and 9 and that is our answer. Correct? So the whole series is nothing but 1, 2, 6, what we have done? We have just found equation in x and y and we have solved it. The question says that if each of the observation that is x1, x2, x3 is increased by a, everything is plus a, plus a, plus a, where a is a negative or positive number, we have to prove that variance remains the same. Let's find the earlier variance is nothing but 1 by n into xi minus mean square and summation of this summation of this right now we will assume the yi is nothing but xi plus a because we are adding with quantity a we will find the mean of yi so mean of y is nothing but summation of y that is summation of yi by n correct so this become nothing but summation of sigma xi plus summation of a by n that is nothing but sigma xi by n plus n a into n this cancel this is nothing but xi or x mean plus a correct so what we have got is y mean is nothing but x mean x mean plus this is my equation now let's find the another variance, the variance 2 is nothing but 
1 by n here instead of x I'll take y summation of y i minus y mean square correct now instead of y i what I'll say I'll write y i is nothing but x mean plus a x mean plus a minus this is y this is y mean sorry this is y i first y i is nothing but x i plus a this is x i plus a let me write once again y i is nothing but x i plus a that is summation of x i plus a minus y mean this is y mean y mean is nothing but x mean plus a x mean plus correct this whole summation by n here a is a is cancel so what we get is nothing but 1 by n into summation of x i minus x mean x mean square so we is square and this is nothing but my variance 1 square this is variance so we can prove that variance 1 is equal to variance 2 correct and that's what we do. Very simple what we have done. We have just assumed yi is equal to xi plus a. We found y mean that came out to be x mean plus a. And then the first variance was 1 by n summation of xi minus x mean square. And the second summation is 1 by n into yi minus y mean square. We found that both are. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.